chosen vessels what's the deal it's your main man drew tube and i'm back at you again with another video i need each and every vessel to hit that like button hit that share button and don't forget to subscribe let's get into it shall we the lack of attention is driving them insane you haven't been giving them much thought lately and they're starting to feel it there are a lot of people who are worried about you more than they should be and you have learned how to not pay them no damn mind because you shouldn't have to. But they want to force themselves onto you and make you. But you've learned the art of ignoring people. So basically all they get is a mental God bless you and that's it. And they don't even know that and they don't have to. But that's what helps you. That helps you saying God bless you when they try to get attention from you when they try to bombard your thoughts. As soon as you show up at the place, they're all up in your face. Bless them mentally because it's going to kill all the negativity that they're trying to throw your way. All the negativity they're trying to throw your way is going to eliminate it. When you can say, bless your enemies. God bless you. You know what? I see what you're trying to do but God bless you. And it's gonna throw their whole entire plan out the window because you overrode it. You've overridden their negativity to a mental success, as small as that is. When you could say God bless someone instead of allowing them to affect you, that's a win. And the more wins you get, the stronger you get, and the more you'll become a winner and focused on winning. You'll be like, oh, okay. Whatever they're trying to do, I'm not really going to pay too much attention to it. I know that there's a win in here for me, and that win for me is to just bless them and go about my day. And when you do that, they're going to feel it because the amount of attention and the amount of energy that you used to give them, once they stop getting it, they're going to still require that because it's going to be something in their brain that is not that they're not getting. You were mentally giving them, like they were mentally getting their rocks off when you would react to them. They would mentally get their rocks off when you would give them attention. And the fact that you're finding more important things to do, the fact that they're not able to get to you like they were, the fact that you're using your mind, it's driving them insane. Because they're like, wait a minute, she figured it out. Wait a minute. He figured it out. He ain't paying me no mind no more. She ain't paying me no mind no more. I thought I meant something to this person. I thought this person cared about me. Now all their anxiety starts to build up and they're starting to feel it because narcissists, they love attention. They love your energy. They feed off of it, especially chosen ones. They feed off of our energy because they keep having to seek validation from us because we matter so much to them. So when somebody matters a lot to you, it's like you wanna be important too. When someone is real important to you, it's like you wanna be important too. So how else besides them getting your attention would they be important? Because if somebody doesn't have, not to say that people don't have anything to offer because everyone has something to offer. But when people don't operate from a state of being to where I'm offering you something and you're offering me something, somebody's time is being wasted. And you shouldn't let it be yours. If somebody's trying to waste your time, you don't pay them any mind. When somebody tries to waste your time, you don't pay them any mind. And you don't have to. If somebody chooses to be the type of person that doesn't want to offer somebody something, but they want to be an energy vampire, you have every right to ignore that person because that person is a detriment to your peace of mind, your success, your well-being, your focus. These are things that they will try to just willingly take from you, all right? So it's very important to get your ignoring game up. It's very important to get your, uh, your, your feel good up about yourself, how you feel about yourself. Very important to always make sure you feel good about yourself around these kinds of people. So when you see these kinds of people, after you bless them, 
when you see these kinds of people after you bless them, you can just go into straight full affirmation mode about yourself. Tell you, and these are things that are going to keep you grounded. You could just bless them, you know, and then once you get your W, huh, start to, once you feel that, okay, I got over that, that's out the way. I, I done separated myself from that energy. Now you can just stay, start saying good things about yourself. I love myself. I feel good about myself. I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing the right things for me. I'm making good decisions. I'm making positive decisions. I'm staying away from evil. I'm staying away from negativity. I'm better than evil. I'm better than negativity. I'm not letting these things get me down. I'm not letting these people get me down. I'm not letting these people uh, make me frown. I'm not letting these people turn me upside down. You know, I'm not, I'm not letting them win. I'm not going to let you win. As much as I've been through, you may be able to ruffle a feather or two. I'm not going to let you win. You won't defeat me. And it's just going to show you that no matter how hard you try to ignore them, right? The lack of attention is going to drive them insane. And it's like you think the more you ignore them, the more peaceful things are going to get. The more you ignore them, the more you ignore them, the more peaceful things will get. But they're not going to let you get that peace that easily. And I, I just want to let you know that they're going to try to make it as hard for you as to get that peace as possible. But it's still obtainable. It's just all about what you choose to focus on. And they may attack your peace, but they whatever peace they attacked, you could just let them have that. You could let them attack that peace all they want because it's more peace out there. That that look like when, when somebody attacks your peace, it doesn't stop peace. Peace still goes on. Just like just like um when you ignore them, their hate still goes on. You may not know about it. it it's not affecting you. You chose peace. So it's okay. People can hate. People can be jealous, right? Just make sure that you're not giving them too much thought. And that's the one thing that God wants you to do is not give these people too much thought. God wants you to just bless them and keep it moving. And that's the best thing you could do is just bless your bless your haters and keep it moving. Because if not, then they'll start to get to you and they'll start to get in your head and what they want will start to happen. You'll, you'll start to pay attention to them and focus on them more than yourself. And that's the one thing that they need to survive. They need your attention. They need your focus. That's why when they don't feel it, they start to go insane. Like they really start to go insane. It's like people can't leave you alone, kind of. And it's like, yo, what is up with these people? I'm just minding my business. That's why. They're losing it because you're minding your business. And it's like you never knew you could catch so much flack for just minding your business. But you have to remember, these people are desperate for attention. They will die for it. They love it. They don't, like, they don't care. What's up, bros? They want that attention so bad. They will do anything to get it. And it's already... It's already weird enough that they want your attention, but it's like they, they need you to exist. They, they really do need you to exist because without you, they feel like they don't exist. Like these, like any, and when you don't go to your job for a couple days, the same people that are all up in your face, when, as soon as you get back, they're right there waiting for you. They just can't, can't wait to make their, their presence felt because they know they're toxic and it's like okay they they know they know like these people know that you haven't been around them for a few days so it's like they know that their toxicity has worn off so it's like okay the toxicity has worn off he's gotten away from us for a little bit well he's back now let's make sure we hit him with the toxic shake make sure we hit him with the toxic cocktail make sure we hit him with the toxic mix They gotta hit you with that toxic energy, because if they were if they were to let you just be, you'd become too strong. You would start to attract. People would start to come to you. 
people will start to want to be a part of you. And this is why a lot of us don't fit in. Not say we don't fit in. This is why we don't belong. Not only that we don't fit in, but this is why we don't belong at these places. Because these, it's like these places are for crabs. They're for people who want to control others. They're for people who want to. They're for people who want to control others. They're for people who want to live a certain lifestyle, who don't want what others, what what higher level people want, and that's why you don't belong there. You belong in a place where it's people like you, where people are like minded, where you're around similar individuals to yourself. That's where you deserve to be. You deserve to be where your level of expertise will can get you. Because a lot of us, we go to certain places and we're on a higher level than certain positions that we're in. And it's like, imagine having a, a, a PhD, but you're about to go be a plumber or something. But you're, you're just like, every time somebody try to talk to you, you're spewing all this PhD rhetoric, but you're doing plumber work. They're gonna look at you and raise their eyebrow like, what's he doing here? If he knows all that stuff or what's she doing here if, since she knows all that stuff, you know? They're gonna start to raise their eyebrows and they're gonna start to want you to come out from amongst them. That's why you're supposed to come out from amongst them on your own. So that way you can't get forced out or pushed out. Like I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew there was going to be something that I was going to have to do other than just normal people stuff because I knew I wasn't a, a normal people person. I knew I wasn't a normal person. I've had people tell me like, oh, I'm a people person. And then... I, th I thought nothing of it. And then people keep saying it. Oh, I'm a people person. And it's like, why do you keep saying that? Pe basically, they're just trying to tell you, like, look, they, we don't like you here. They like me more than you. Beware of anybody that comes near you and is like, oh, I'm a people person. That person is low-key trying to let you know that they don't like you and the people around you don't like you. And that person that tells you that they're a people person is liked more than you. But the thing is, then people really don't like themselves. It's not that they don't like you. It's that you like yourself. And when you're around people that don't like themselves, they're going to feel hurt. What's up, buddy? You chilling? Have have a good day, buddy. Those people don't even really like themselves. And when you get around people who really don't like themselves, they start to take it out on the people who do like themselves because just when you have to be around it's like a, it's like this since since narcissistic people are like children and they don't grow up they're literally like kids like a lot of these jobs and a lot of these friends it's like being in a clubhouse or a treehouse if you if you aren't one of us you're not going to survive you're not you weren't you're not going to survive in our group if you're not one of us, you're not going to be a part of our group. If you can't hang, if it, yo, you can't, uh, whatever they say, you can't bang, you can't hang. <laughs> whatever they be saying, you know what I'm saying? Um, somebody going to be like, what the hell he talking about? But yo, like, uh, I think that was from, uh, yo, that, oh my God. That was from Don't Be a Menace, yo. The old lady was there was about to jump him in. It was like, if you can't hang, you can't bang. And he started doing the, he was like, acting like he was about to fight. And then he started doing jump rope. <laughs> Ah, man, that Don't Be a Menace movie was funny as I don't know what. Yo, they started, they said, if you can't bang, you can't hang. That man started jump roping. I was done. Had him a little fishnet shirt on and everything, man. That that that, that stuff was futuristic, man. Yo, the same type of gun, toy gun they had in the movie is like the same type of gun that people have now. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyway, 
it's be- they're, they're just like children, y'all. And um, I know I keep saying that, but I, I want to drive that on home. Um, it's like, it's, so it's like you wouldn't be upset if, if you, as a, as a grown person, if some kids was like, you can't be with us. You can't join our group. You just be like, oh, okay. And you just go off and be an adult. It's the same thing with adults. Don't get upset just because they're not adult. I mean, just get up, don't get upset just because they're in an adult body. They got a childlike mindset. You can't be with us because you're different. Whatever. I'll go off and do my own thing. But the thing is, when you go off and do your own thing in their presence, it's still the, it's still the same treehouse. You may be doing it in the next warehouse. You may be doing it at um, in a different a part of the building. But guess what? It's still the same treehouse. Like some of that moving around stuff, it only works... It only works so much. It only works so well. You can only move around so many times in one organization before you just have to go find someplace else. And it's like, who really wants to like once you once you get settled at a certain job, it's like, yo, this is what I got hired for. This is what I want to do. And it's like once they have to move you around so much, it's like you get taken out of your position. It's like uh, it's not even worth working there anymore. It might be a different rate of pay. The hours may be different. It don't even benefit you to do it no more because you had your schedule set up. And that's what that's what they want to do. They want to interrupt your schedule. They want something to be able to change something that they could have power over. And this this is this these groups. And um, yo, somebody told me that a lot of gang stalkers are like like you're going to see like a lot of a lot of bikers and a lot of. um but that's that's neither here nor there. But anyway, just to stay on topic, I've just been, you know, noticing things. How I uh how I notice things. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, a lot of, like it's it's not it's not even worth it anymore because once they have that power over you, once they have that leverage over you to where they controlled your life and they made things different for you. It's not even beneficial for you to stay there anymore. It's like, man, I don't even want this job no more. Y'all done changed everything all the way up around. Y'all done changed the schedule around, changed this, changed that. And it's like, I liked it at first, but now I don't even like it anymore. So it's like, I could just find something else for all that. So you go, you find something else, but you still don't end up belonging because it's not your calling, it's not your purpose. And this is why until you pick up your calling and until you start to follow your purpose, you're, you're going to continue to have these problems. But if you don't pick up your if you if you do pick up your purpose, they're going to start to subside. You're going to start to see them and they're going to start to be uh, kind of irrelevant to you because they're not going to ha- have be, they're not going to be able to put as much pressure on you. And this, this, this is, this comes to anything in life. When once you start to change things, once you start to make things better in your life, the negative things will start to have less pressure on you. And it's then, and that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. You always want negative situations to have less pressure on you than they could, because that means more patience for you. That means less explosion time from you, less energy wasted less negativity put out to the universe, you know, all types of stuff that you're not supposed to be doing and you wouldn't be doing. But the thing is, the lack of attention is driving them insane. And when people are drawn up on getting um, their their rocks off, getting, um, getting their ego boosted, all right, there are certain people that the whole relationship is based off somebody's butt getting kissed. And you'll be like, ah, okay, boss. Ah, yeah, boss. Ah, boss. I'm not one of those kinds of people. And I never frowned on those kinds of people. You know, but the thing is, I think some of them could see my face. Some of them could see my facial expression. But the thing is, the boss ain't never cared. It's always been the employees. It's always been the workers. And like, see, the thing is, people let fear get in the way. And it's like, oh, if I don't kiss the bosses behind, then... I'm not going to be in the employment line. Only employees make it hard for people who don't kiss the boss's butt. The boss doesn't care who kisses his butt. He wants the job done. 
there's there's like bosses really do be on some stuff like that sometimes, but it's only for the people close in their corner. It's only for the person that they hooked up with that job. Like if a, if a, if a boss is a boss and he and you get the assistant boss job, you damn right you're gonna have to kiss some some butt in some form or way. You have to hold a door, maybe uh, do some paperwork, maybe uh, do some leg work. Like the stuff he doesn't feel like getting up to doing, that's probably gonna be your job. Still doesn't mean you gotta like you know uh, uh, sell your soul or anything like that. But the thing is, when people see you not acting like that, they feel offended. And it's because it's like, oh, I didn't even have to do all that. This person was smart enough to just be themselves. And they see the boss giving you that respect of a person that's just going to come do their job. And that's all. OK, that's all I'm going to get from this person. Cool. I just me and this person will have respect on that level. And that's it. This person will come here, do what they need to do and then leave. It's never really the boss is making it a hard time for you. Unless maybe you're at like a retail spot and he's supervising everybody and everything you're doing. Those sometimes when you have a weird boss, those like certain jobs like that can be can be hard. Cock a doodle doo. But it's it's really it's really a lot of the times it's really just employees. All right, people will like I said, people want to um people people want you to treat your uh your job the way they do. They want you to feel like this is all you got. And that's another thing, too. People can feel when and it, 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 it blows their mind and drives them crazy when a person has less than them, but it feels like they have more than them. It looked like you have less than them, but they could feel you got more than them. They could feel you got something going on greater. And I know I know every single one of you go experience that daily being around people to where they look at you and you just got this feeling of greatness. You just got this feeling of, I could accomplish anything. I've already accomplished everything. I already have everything I want. And it's like, you just waiting, you just working, you just, just taking it day by day because you know good things are on the way. You know prosperity's coming. You know wealth is coming. You know good things are coming. And it's like, you just, you're just waiting, just patiently, just like, yo, man, I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep doing what I do. I'm gonna keep making things happen. And, you know, like you keep you keep pushing forward, things are going to happen. You keep uh, pushing towards a certain uh, lifestyle, a certain way of life, things are going to happen. It's like somebody like I saw the other day, somebody throwing throwing rocks at the penitentiary. Guess what? You may hit. Somebody throwing rocks at the good life. Guess what? You may hit. And it's not even a, it's not even a matter of may or may not. It's, it's just a matter of time. You're doing something bad and something um, that that's um, illegal. You're gonna end up in a place that's bad and illegal. You're doing something good and righteous. You're gonna end up in a place where something uh, is good and righteous for you. And you see, with all these people who thought they got away with stuff, time still caught up. The universe still caught up. They still got caught up. So it's like this: you you can't hide nothing from God, y'all. You can't. You can't hide nothing from the Lord, man. You can't hide nothing from the universe. You can't. Everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. So you might as well just be your normal, natural, righteous, loving self. You know, you might as well just be you. There's nothing that you can't do that you put your mind to. And when you focus on yourself, that's why these people will go crazy. Because it's like, okay, I know he's working on his stuff. He ain't worried about me. They start to get anxious because they are getting left behind. They're getting left behind. You're doing something with your life. You're doing something with your time. And they're not. They're not doing nothing. At least that's what it seems like. If somebody is so focused on you every time that, you know what I'm saying, you go to do something, how could that person possibly be doing anything with their life or their time? You know what a productive person looks like. You know what a productive person feels like to be around that energy. Anybody that ever came around me that was productive, they always had better than me, first of all. And number two, they always, I, I, I never wanted to, to, to not be around that person. I'm, I, I would always want to figure out, a, like, yo, can I come back to the studio? Or, yo, when's the next time we could talk? Or when's the next time I could hit you up? Or you got a card? Or like, I was so eager. People would be laughing. They'd be like, <laughs> Like I would get laughed at, man. I would be so eager. 
And then I just found out, I just like, I just said, you know what, let me just chill out and just work towards success on my own. Because if this is how people are going to treat somebody like me, and I knew what it was, I knew what it was. People will want to, people don't want to see you do better than them. So it's like once somebody sees that they can't control you, you got your own thoughts, you got your own mind, you got your own ideas, it doesn't benefit them to help you because they're not going to have power over you. Some people only want to help you to control you. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, introduce you to this person. Yeah, I, I got this opportunity for you, but they're thinking about what they can get. They're not doing it just to help you. And obviously business is business, but the type of person that I am, I'm up front. I'm straight up like, yo, I'm doing this. This is what I need from it. This is what I'm getting off the back end. I'm helping you because I want to help you, but also helping you. I see an opportunity to help myself. So if you're with this, then let's do it. That's how business works. Ain't nobody out here doing nothing for nothing. Everybody's out here doing something for something. Ain't nobody doing nothing for nothing. People do not do nothing for nothing. People don't even try to get your attention for nothing. Like, yo, why are, these, why are they trying to get my... I don't even focus on this person. I ain't even worried about this person. This person doesn't even exist until I, I just saw him. Like, what is that? The lack of attention is driving them insane. The lack of attention is driving them insane. As I hear some tires move as I walk past. Right on cue. They love to move their cars near us, don't they? They just got to let us know that we're being watched. And they were waiting for us. But they weren't just waiting for me. And they weren't just waiting for you. They were waiting for God, too. But they don't, they don't take that into consideration. And that's okay. As long as we do. We can just say, God bless you and keep it moving. And that way... They can start to get anxious because they're getting left behind. And we're going to leave them all behind. Like, that is sick, man. That really is sick. And it's like they use their little car and they drive slow and they like to copy your movements and they like to copy your speed and the pace as, as fast as you go. That's as fast as they like to go. And you're walking and they're driving. They like to drive at the pace you're walking and let their car screech, let their tires go real slow against the ground so you can hear it. But it's all good because God bless them. We got some money to make. We got a life to live. We got people, we got people to love. You know, we have a God that loves us. So we have vacations to go on. We have money to count. We have money to make. We have good food to eat. We have a life that's real, full of love, full of happiness, full of joy. Not everybody can say that. Some people actually have to try to stalk it out of you. <laughs> Some people actually have to try to stalk your joy up out of you. They're so upset that you're joyful and happy that they got to try to stalk it up out of you. That is that is some mess. That that is some demonic evil mess. You got to try to stalk the joy of the Lord up out of his saints. You dirty evil buzzard you. Yeah, they almost they almost hit the right buzzard. You filthy Shout out to anybody who knows where that's from. Yeah. You greasy bow, you greasy buzzard. Y'all know, y'all know where that's from. But as I head back, it's starting to rain. So I'm about to get wet. I don't care. But this video is out of here. So I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Peace, love, and light. God bless your enemies. So that way you can have peace and not be angry towards them. And get back to focus on the good things that matter to you. Thank you all for watching this video. God bless you. I'll see you all in the next video. It's been another DrewTube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. We out.